The CSS Paint API allows you to programmatically generate an image. The Server Timing API allows web servers to provide performance timing information via HTTP headers. And the new CSS Display Contents property can make boxes disappear. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 65. The CSS Paint API allows you to programmatically generate an image for CSS properties like background image or border image. Instead of referencing an image, you can use the new Paint function to draw the image much like a canvas element. For example, instead of adding extra DOM elements to create a ripple effect on a material style button, you could just use the Paint API. It's also a powerful method for polyfilling CSS features that aren't supported in the browser yet. Surma has a great post with several demos linked in his explainer, linked in the description below. Hopefully, you're using the navigation and resource timing APIs to track the performance of your site for real users. Until now, there hasn't been an easy way for the server to report its performance timing. The new server timing API allows your server to pass timing information to the browser, giving you a better picture of the overall performance. You can track as many metrics as you want, database read times, startup times, or whatever is important to you by adding a server timing header to your response. They're shown in Chrome DevTools, or you can pull them out of the response header and save them with your other performance analytics. Adding display contents to the outer div makes that outer div disappear, and its constraints are no longer applied to the inner div. The inner div is now 100% width. There are plenty of cases where this might be useful. The most common one is with Flexbox. With Flexbox, only the immediate children of a flex container become flex items. But once you apply display contents to a child, its children become flex items and are laid out using the same rules that would be applied to their parent. Check out Rachel Andrews' excellent post, Vanishing Boxes with Display Contents, linked in the description below. These are just a few of the changes in Chrome 65 for developers. Of course, there's plenty more. The syntax for specifying HSL and HSLA and RGB and RGBA coordinates for the color property now match the CSS color 4 spec. There's a new feature policy that allows you to control synchronous XHRs through an HTTP header or the iframe allow attribute. All the details, including links to the docs and specs, are in the description below. Don't forget to check out the latest new in Chrome DevTools video to learn what's new in DevTools. And if you're interested in progressive web apps, check out the new PWA Roadshow video series. Then click that subscribe button, and you'll get an email notification whenever we launch a new video. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 66 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.